Hi, Alvin DeLeon here, and you are watching episode 26 of the 3 Minute Health Tip. In this episode, I'm going to talk about what's the catch. If you're like me and you've been learning and studying this new health perspective known as GNM and the five biological laws, you start to really appreciate the value of this information. You know that there's an explanation that whatever symptoms we're dealing with, that there's an involvement of the brain and that there's a, an unexpected conflict shock that we must have experienced that initiated this entire biological program. And that's really cool because it helps us to understand that the reason we have these symptoms is because of how we perceive some sort of unexpected event in our lives and that when we become conscious of that, you can actually get relief from your symptoms. And I know that if you've been following my episodes or my webinars or my talks over the years, you've heard me go on and on about all the cool cases and stories that I see every single day in this office of people getting aware of this understanding of the conflict that they were actually experiencing and then getting a relief just from that conscious awareness. Having said all that, there's also a lot of people that are struggling with applying this in their lives. I get emails all the time of people frustrated that they can't figure it out, that their symptoms are still there, that it, it takes a lot of effort to figure out their conflict. I'm here to talk about in this episode that there is a catch. There's a catch to all this. Just like any new skill, it requires work and effort and persistence and practice. And yes, it's not easy to try to look for what happened, you know, six months ago, let alone two weeks ago, and forget about trying to think about what happened 10 years ago. And a lot of it is really because we've never been trained to look for what was going on emotionally at that time of our lives that our symptoms show up. This is a totally revolutionary new way of approaching our symptoms and our health. You know, no one's ever understood that when you have digestive issues, there was an anger conflict at that time, or when you had a skin rash, there was potentially a separation issue going on at that time. And so I need all of you to really recognize that this requires effort and work. And I know that many of you come to practitioners or you try to learn a lot of this stuff so that someone else can do the work for us, but this is what's different about GM. You have to be the one that's gonna take ownership and take control of what it is that's going on in your life. And yes, it's new. So it's gonna take practice and perseverance and persistence in order for you to truly get to the place where you're comfortable with starting to look at your life in this new way. The, the health tip for today, for those of you that are struggling and that this is hard and it's not easy to figure it out, it's okay, we've all been there. You know, I have to also remind myself that it's taken me almost nine years of applying this in my own life and in my clinical practice, and it's still challenging at times. But I promise you that if you practice, if you persist, and if you continue to persevere, the remarkable change in your ability to be in control, to be less afraid of any symptom will go a long way in helping you finally overcome anything that's gonna come your way and be able to not even worry about your health the way the rest of the world is thinking about health in today's day and age. Keep at it, don't give up, be persistent, and really keep practicing it in your day-to-day -day life. I wanna thank you, as always, for your attention and look forward to seeing you at the next episode.